can't believe it's finally summer. Three months, nothing to do but work on my chair. Three months? Mine's got to look good in three weeks. How come? We're going up to see you at the end of the month. Oh, I got a letter from my cousin Brenda yesterday. Well, so you spend a weekend up there every summer. You never used to worry about your tan before. Well, Brenda was never throwing a party before. At least not like this one. Will you hold these? Sure. Okay, wait. Well, here it is. Oh, this is Brenda. Oh, she's cute. Yeah, runs in the family. Oh, right. <laughs> anyway, this year her parents are letting her have a really big party. And listen to this. Uh, oh. Every cool guy this side of 10th grade is going to be there. Oh, lucky. A week in Ritzy Seaview. You know, you're pulling me from rich guy and fall madly in love. <laughs> I doubt that. She says the rich kids are a bunch of snobs. They'd probably freak out if they found out my dad lost his job. Well, why? It's not his fault the school ran out of money. And besides, he said he'll be teaching again in the fall. I know, but just try telling that to the junior jet set. Boy, they sound like a real bunch of creeps. Yeah. I'm so glad Brenda's friends aren't like that. I mean, if there's one thing I really can't stand, it's a snob. Day of school. It was okay. What's going on? Hey, Mom. I'm gonna need a new pair of sneakers before we go. Wait, Fran, did you hear the news? We were just gonna tell her. Tell me what? Well, your father's just been offered the grand and glorious position of pool director at the El Condor Club up in Peaksville. Peaksville? We're moving to Peaksville? It's just for a month. Dad's taking me with him to work as locker boy. What about me and Mom? How does spending the entire month at Seaview sound to you? You're kidding. A whole month at Brenda's? Well, we wouldn't exactly be staying with, uh, with Aunt Jessie and Uncle Phil. We would be staying out at the Fairchilds. The Fairchilds? We don't even know them. Why are we staying with them? Well, because, honey, their cook is going to take a month's vacation, and Aunt Jessie has arranged for me to take her place. You're going to be a cook? What's wrong with being a cook? It's just a job like any other. No, it's not. Fran, now your mother has a gift when it comes to cooking. People admire that, and they're willing to pay for it. Look, you know how rough things have been around here lately. This job could really help us out. But, Dad, a cook? And especially for the Fairchilds. I mean, Brenda says their daughter is the snobbiest girl in her class. Look, don't you think you ought to get to know her first before you begin to judge her? I'll probably never even meet her. After all, don't servants have to use the back stairs? to get a load of Andrea. Pretty bad, huh? The worst. Although we hardly ever see her. She doesn't care to associate with us peons. Oh, <laughs> terrific. No, don't worry. You'll be too busy hanging around with us to even notice her. Which reminds me, some of us are going to the beach tomorrow. If you want to come with us, we can all meet in town and go together. That would be great. What time? Ten. And you can help me plan my party. Oh, your party. I almost forgot don't about it. Don't you forget. It's the last Friday of the month and we're all going to have a blast. <laughs> Yes, Mary did. 
Davies and her daughter yeah. Fran, Mr. and Mrs. Fairchild. Oh, I'm so thankful you decided to take the job. We hope you'll be very happy here. Well, I'm really looking forward to it. Let me get your bags. Oh, um, my daughter's been dying to meet you. Andrea! There you are. Come and meet the Davies. Andrea, now you remember Mrs. Dunlap's daughter, um... Brenda. Yeah, we've met her. And this is her cousin, Fran. The girl I told you would be staying with us. Hi. Hi. Mrs. Davies, this is my daughter. Well, I'm so glad to meet you, Andrea. Okay. I know you'll want to unpack, so I'll just take your bags right to your room. Darling, why don't you take Fran on tour of the house while we show Mrs. Davies where to unpack? Okay. Good luck. Thanks, I'll need it. Don't forget about the beach tomorrow. I won't. Okay. <laughs> Jesse, I don't know how to thank you. Give me a call when you get settled. I will. Okay. Well, bye-bye, Brenda. This way. That's my parents' bedroom. And this is one of the guest bedrooms. We only use this for company. And that's the attic. And that's the study. You can put your stuff down here if you want. Come on. This is my room. What do you think? Oh, you must have every mystery ever written. Do you like mysteries? Are you kidding? I go crazy waiting for the newest ones to come out in paperback. Oh, who can wait? I always buy the hardcovers as soon as they're out. Really? Yeah, I'm halfway through one right now if you want to borrow it when I'm done. No, thanks. I brought a few books of my own to read. Oh. Okay. I better help my mom. I don't believe it. Where did you get this? My stepfather bought it for me when he and my mother got married. Your stepfather? Yeah. <laughs> He's always buying me stuff. I should be so lucky. It's no big deal. Here, try this one, friend. Violently Violet. Is it true Andrew Fairchild has a mink bedspread? <laughs> well, if she has, I haven't seen it. Well, nobody's seen much of anything about Andrea. You know, she's never once come to any of our parties. Well, she's probably too busy hanging out at the country club to bother with us. And that's because the country club's the only place big enough to hold her swelled head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shh. Sh sh Hi, Jesse. That's what I call purple. Actually, it's the newest shade of violet. I mean, we like to keep up with the latest looks. Don't you? Yeah. Well, my mom's got tons of stuff at home, if I want it. I just came in to get some place cards for the dinner party tonight. The car's here. Do you want to ride home? Thanks, but uh, we're all going to the beach. Oh. Well, I'll see you later, then. My mom's got drawers of that stuff if I want it. Boy, talk about stuck up. I'll say, what gives her the right to laugh at your makeup? Well, forget about it. Come on, let's go to the beach. Did my cigar burn uh, you? No, it's nothing, really. Or no, it's just something. Really, Nonsense. Nothing. It was very clumsy of me. No, Let's I'm get okay. you inside really, where I have a little fine. more light. I can see it. Carol, I'm very much afraid I've accidentally singed this young lady's arm. Really, Mrs. Fairchild, I'm okay. Oh, it doesn't look too bad. 
Maybe you'd better have your mother put some mice on it anyway. Yes, ma'am, I will. Well. Oh, oh, sorry! Oh, don't worry about that, Fran. Oh, no, the maid will clean it up. Fran, what happened? She just spilled a little coffee, that's all. Oh, Mrs. Fairchild, I'm so sorry. Oh, no, I'll see to it. Please go back to the room, Fran. I'll take care of it. Mom, go on, do as I say. I thought you might be hungry. I'm sorry if I sounded harsh in the dining room. Don't worry about me. But I do, Fran. I know you think I've somehow lowered myself to take this job. Fran. Sometimes wearing a uniform is part of the job. Like it is for a nurse or a policewoman. Underneath it, I am still the same me. Well, go ahead and eat your pie. I did a great job on it. I'll be in later. trying to figure out what to wear to Brenda's party. Well, I still think we ought to go with the preppy look. These thighs, no way. Put me in pleated pants and I look pudgy, not preppy. <laughs> <laughs> OK, then let's go feminine. You know, with the long skirts and ruffled blouses. Yeah. yeah. And the necklace you let me borrow will go perfect with my new peasant blouse. Sure, yeah. There's one problem. What? The only thing I brought to wear was a skirt and blouse. Oh. Oh, well, I've got an idea. Why don't you borrow something from Miss Best Dressed Andrea Fairchild? I mean, don't rich people usually give their old clothes to servants anyway? I'm not Andrea Fairchild's servant. She didn't really mean you, Fran. She only meant your mother. Brenda, my mother works for the Fairchilds as an employee, not a servant. Oh, okay, an employee. What's the big deal? I mean, it's the same difference anyway, right? No, it's not. And if you think it is, you're a lot dumber than I ever thought you were. Oh, yeah? Well, if you think I'm so dumb, maybe you shouldn't come to my dumb old party and surround yourself with all my dumb old friends. In fact, maybe you'd be happier hanging around old stuck-up Andrea. Well, maybe I would. Suit yourself. time you gave Brenda a call. What could you two have to fight about that could be so terrible? Nothing. I see. Well, I just wish you could find something constructive to do instead of getting underfoot in the kitchen. Like what? Mom, I'm sick of doing things by myself. Well, maybe Andrea would like to do something. Oh, yeah, sure. She's probably dining or slumming with the cook's daughter. Excuse me, Mrs. Davies. I don't mean to interrupt, but I was on my way to the club, and I was wondering if you could fasten this for me. Yes, I think I can manage. Thanks. Fran, we're allowed to bring guests to the club if you'd like to come. Oh, well, well thanks, but I don't think so. Oh, I think that's a wonderful idea. But, Mom... It'll be good for you to get out of the kitchen. Dive in, the water's great. Well, I don't know too much about diving. Usually I go to the beach. You're kidding, you don't know how to dive? There aren't too many diving boards in the ocean. Oh, I could teach you. Anybody can learn. Well, thanks, but no thanks. I think I'll just catch some sun.
was wondering when you two would get back. Did you have a good time? It was okay. I have a little surprise for dinner tonight. Surprise! Dad! <laughs> hey, how you doing, Duncan? Well, did you miss me? Oh, Dad, I even missed Steve. Oh, great. Oh, Andrea, I'm sorry. This is Fran's dad and her brother Steve. Hi. Hi, Andrea. So how long can you guys stay? Till tomorrow. No. And tonight, after your mother gets through serving up her gourmet meal, the Davies are going out for pizza. Oh, oh. great, I'm starved. <laughs> oh, I forgot the blanket. Oh, I forgot the picture blanket. Oh. Did he take one of those? Yes, things? he did. That right, devil. <sighs> so, how's it going? Not oh, fine. Dad, you know Mom, she's always happy when she gets around the stove. <laughs> <laughs> now, how about you? You know, stoves have never really turned me on. Very funny. No, oh, Dad, Dad. <laughs> oh, Andrea. Say, why don't you join us this afternoon? There's plenty of food to go around. I'd like that. Andrea, you promised your mother that you'd practice your tennis. Now, you don't want her to look bad at the mother-daughter tournament, do you? No, sir. Of course not. Thanks anyway, Mr. Davis, but I have to practice. Want an egg, Dad? Come on, let's go, let's go. Shells. Yeah, my dad and I found him. He seems like a pretty neat guy. He is. I guess you miss him, huh? I used to miss my father a lot, too. I got used to it after a while. Well, see you later. She's making for my parents' party on Saturday. Mm. It's mostly stuff I can't pronounce. She says there's going to be a lot of people there. There are. I just wish I knew some kids my own age well enough to invite. What about your country club friends? What country club friends? Did you see any the other day? Well, no, but I thought... I mean, Brenda said that you... There's lots of kids in Seaview. How come you're not friends with any of them? My mother and my stepfather don't allow me to go places where they don't know the people. But the trouble is, they're never around to meet anybody, so... I usually just stay home or go to the club. But there aren't a lot of kids that hang out there. Oh. Hey, are you going to help serve at the party Saturday? What? Are you going to be serving at my parents' party? Of course I'm not. Are you sure? I'm... Look, Andrea, this may come as a shock to you, but just because you're rich doesn't mean everybody else is your servant. What? You know, you really think you're great just because you've got a lot of books and clothes and even a carousel horse. But there's one thing around here you don't own. Me. because I'm going to be serving. And I thought it would be fun if we could do it together. What do you mean? Dressing up and passing around hors d'oeuvres is the only way my parents let me go to their parties. And I figured if you were helping, the two of us could have a good time watching all the crazy adults. You mean you and me together? Sure, friend. It'll be fun, I promise. You won't 
don't believe some of the weirdos my parents know. And besides, we'll get to eat all your mom's great cooking. Still think you don't want to come? Crazies and weirdos, huh? huh? How could I refuse? Get yourself a partner. <laughs> telling you about. Uh-huh. She always says things like, or, or, knock, I'm dead, honey. <laughs> Who is she? She's crazy. She's so funny. Um, I'll talk to you later. Okay. Hi. Hi. I came here to apologize. I'm sorry that I called your mother a servant, Fran. I didn't really mean it. And I didn't really mean you were dumb, either. You know I just said that because I was mad. Well, uh, what do you say we forget the whole thing? Yes. Good you can come to my party. Brenda, I can't wait for Friday night. Friday? Oh, that's right, you don't know. My father's trip was postponed, so the party's Saturday now. Oh, you're kidding. What's the matter? I told Andrea I'd go to her parents' party on Saturday. Oh, so you'll tell her you changed your mind? I can't do that, Brenda. She's really counting on me. Well, what's more important? Your own cousin or some stuck-up snob? Look, you don't understand. Oh, I understand perfectly. You'd rather play up to a lot of rich people instead of coming to my crummy little party. That's not true. Well, then I guess you're going to have to choose. Andrea or me. Fran, you all right? You didn't say three words at dinner. Didn't Brenda come over and make up with you this afternoon? What happened? She switched her party to Saturday night. I don't know, Mom. I'd feel bad if I didn't stay here with Andrea. But Brenda is my cousin, and everybody else is going to be at her house. Well, it's your decision. But if it's any help to you, why don't you forget what everybody else is doing and concentrate on doing what is right for you? I said go to your room right now. Let me continue on, yes, darling. Be no. careful, be careful. Well, it was bad. Here, that's all right. We'll get you cleaned up. Oh. No time at all. We'll be right back. to mix them with the now stuff downstairs. What do you mean, then and now? All these things used to be mine before my mother and father were divorced. Now Daddy's living in New York and married again. I don't see him much anymore. You're lucky, Fran. I'm lucky? You have a real family. I mean, my dad was never rich or anything like my stepfather. But I always knew he loved me. Your stepfather didn't really mean to yell at you. I heard him say so to your mom. My stepfather never really means anything towards me. He thinks that buying me all that expensive stuff in my room will make up for the fact that deep down he doesn't really care about me. Andrea, I owe you 
owe you an apology. What for? For listening to other people's stupid gossip. You're not the one who's been a snob around here for the past four weeks. I am. I'm just sorry it took me so long to realize it. How was your party? Oh, it was great. It would have been better if you'd been there. Well, there's always next year. Yeah? Wait to see who I'm inviting to that one. Brenda, I know someone who'd like to come. Who? Andrea. She never came to your parties before because her parents wouldn't let her. Come on. Brenda, they're really strict. I mean, they never let her go anywhere. Really? I never knew that. Fran! Hi, Andrea. Hi. I'll come back later. No! I gotta get going anyway. I told uh, Marsha and Lisa that I'd meet them at the movies. Would you like to come with us? <laughs> That'd be great. But I have a dentist appointment. Oh, well, um, maybe some other time. I'll give you a call, okay? Okay. Well, cousin, see you next summer, okay? Just try stopping me. Bye-bye. I have a little going away present for you. You didn't have to do that. I know. Come on, into <laughs> my room. I couldn't. Oh, sure you can. You like it, don't you? It's beautiful. But there's something else I'd much rather have. Well, sure. What? I'd much rather have you come and visit me in Los Angeles. We'd have the greatest time, and I'd know you'd love Sarah. Sarah? She's my best friend back home. I can't wait to tell her about you. Maybe if my mom talks to your mom, she'll let you come down. Oh, friend, that would be great. That must be my dad. So I'll see you in L.A.? Just try stopping me. got a call from Mrs. Carcel. You know that lady who ate half the food at the party? <laughs> what did she want? Well, I guess you could say she wanted to put her money where her mouth is. She just offered me cash to start my own catering business. You're kidding! You mean you're gonna be a regular businesswoman? Is catering a party so much different than cooking for the Fairchild? No. After all, a job's a job, right? In fact, I don't care if you're a cook or the first woman president. As long as you stay my mom. Don't worry. That's a position that's filled for life. 